Let's take a look at our two new operators. Mozzie yes! And Gridlock. And Mozzie and Gridlock. We have uh, an attacker with a defender's gadget, a defender with an attacker's gadget. And, uh, Let's you know, get hype. Get confused sometimes. As, uh, <laughs> Let's get hype. Which one is which? Just to be clear, which ones are which? Gridlock is our attacker, and Mozzie is the defender. All right. That's okay. Cleared up. Let's get into okay. Gridlock. Who is Gridlock? Get a sense of her personality out there. Now, let's take a look at her gadget. Obviously, we oh. saw what it does and, and its usefulness. It's a very basic gadget. Going back, let's to see that gadget. What was the vision behind it? Well, exactly as you said, there is a, a certain willingness for for Gridlock to go back to some elements of siege that were there from the very beginning. And those elements that we were looking at are obstacles, and elements that you will place in the map to protect yourself, to exercise map control. Those elements... Excuse me? Their barbwares, their reinforcement, barricades, castle. All those things are very OG siege, How? right? But they belong to the defending team. And three years down the road, we'll realize that Excuse this vision me? of attack, pushing, defending, preventing them to push has evolved a lot. And that now, with the way map control is done in Rainbow Six Siege, we kind of want to explore the idea of grabbing those tools that the defense team has and see how they would fare. That's a lot of damage! Yeah, it's not uh, so much of a binary situation here as we've seen over the course of three days. It's a much more intricate, delicate dance between the attackers and defenders. <gasps> it's not just... Oh, so I swear to God, I thought that was on the walls. Deny, it is, you know, so much more in, in cir circulation around that. Absolutely. There is, there is... The vision we have here is... She's a free armor. So this is the first time that we bring... On an attacking side. Free armor three armors. The of the game. Yeah. And uh, we want to see this gameplay, like, as a backliner almost. So to have the defense mindset. You will use your teammate to secure the map, but Gridlock wow. will be there to retain control over those areas that you secure. That's her job. Now, where do you think she shines the best? Is it locking down the site or cutting off <gasps> the <location? gasps> oh. It's difficult to make that kind of call early, and we need to see how the community, the pros, everyone actually handle the device. But what we see is, I guess, flank watch, very potent. You can secure part of the objective as well. You can secure entire rooms if you want. If you need verticality, you can do this as well. Uh, there's a lot of options on how you can do that. It's kind of a, 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 a try that we have Yo. here. We want to see. Uh, all those options shine and see which one is maybe the best at the end of the day. My belief usually with that kind of gadget is depending on your team, depending on the bomb site, depending on the map, the operator you choose, you will use her differently. So a lot of different strategies. <gasps> oh shit, that you'll be Mozzie! Using. I can't wait to see the pros and uh, the players get their hands on gridlock. It's going to be really exciting. And also, you know, it, it, she may play very nicely on the new map Outback as well because of all those what? Uh, with four staircases. What is yeah, this? Whoever's going to be playing Gridlock is going to be having tons of fun on this map. A lot of fun on that map. Cool. So okay. here again, we go back in time and we take one of the first elements of Siege, drones. And how to make this change from this oh, no. element of attack to bring it in defense? Uh, well. We want someone that can actually steal them, and we wanted oh. to explore this option, like this new way to hack intelligence gadget, and Mozzie is exactly that, is those drones, very basic element of siege, and all of a sudden you have someone in defense that changed completely the oh relationship. Oh my god. Changing the relationship is really kind of the key aspect of this. When you are on attack, you don't shoot drones. Yeah, uh, and when you're on defense, you shoot a drone. If yeah, you see absolutely. It. And now we're playing with the psychological element of that relationship for the players. Definitely, Mozzie is going to challenge some of the core way we have to play siege. If, if you see a drone, if like you're standing there in defense and you see a drone, your brain is not even thinking. You, you shoot it, you shoot it every single time. And in attack, if you see a drone. Oh my your God! Your question ask. Now this is changing. Now in defense, if you see a drone and Mozzie is on board, maybe it's worth it not to shoot it, to try to capture it. And in attack, if you see a drone, maybe it's not so friendly anymore. Yeah, so really playing with the relationship of, <gasps> you know, the oh, most basic things This is siege, so cool. One of the most basic things in Siege this is that so has cool. not changed since the launch of the game. I mean, this is, this is really interesting. You almost hit Doc with that. Uh, 
but where do you think he shines the best? What do you think situations and strategies uh, players are going to come up with? Well, that is, uh, I, I see at least two ways to uh, use Mazi efficiently. First one, obviously, is to get an enemy drone and use it against them. Ideally, a Twitch drone eventually, that could be awesome. Uh, the other way is since the drone generate like an area of effect with a warning zone around it So nothing as big as mute much smaller, right? But you can still use it as a uh something to limit drone access because yes the yes droning nearby they will know it's there and they will not get in you cannot block large hallway like mute food but you can block much smaller things like drone holes for example yeah drone holes it's going to be really really valuable in shutting down drone holes and uh you know even just maybe one hallway that you know oh my god they like to push down i can see with it their, with their drones. So i can see stealing it stealing those resources from the opponents is really key stealing that intelligence and that counter intel is going to be really yeah. good. That's, uh, that's, that's exactly it. Like it's counter intelligence in multiple levels. It's both preventing them from accessing information and eventually using their tool against them to acquire your own information. Wild. It's dirty. Freaking it's dirty. wild. Like it, How do we counter Mozzie? So the, I guess the first step to counter Mozzie is communication. You absolutely need to obviously tell your Thatcher. To a drone. You absolutely need to make sure that everyone knows that a drone is around. That's super key. And uh, exactly like when Kavara is interrogating you, if you see your drone being captured, tell them. First counter. Then after that, if you don't pay attention. There you to them, go. Well, it's an electronic gadget, so we have the usual suspects. Thatcher is going to disable the pest. Oh, yeah, it. IQ. Uh, IQ is going to buy, be able to spot them, and she also is able to find the drone that are tone codes and eliminate them. Very efficient. So very useful on, on, on those sides. But I think the most interesting interaction is with Dokubi. Absolutely. This is this was uh -oh. meant to be. This is the first oh, they're battling. hacker war between uh, Dokubi and Mazi. So the way we handle that uh, in, in this version is we have uh, Mazi that is going to hack a drone, cool. but if Dokebe is uh, hacking a cell phone, she's going to gain access to the camera feed of the drone. So in the same way that she gains access to uh, the defenders of Valkyrie cam, she'll yeah. gain access to the, the drone. But she's not stealing the drone back. She's just gaining access to the video feed which means that she can see what Mozi is seeing, but Mozi still controls the drone. Right, and in that, there's <gasps> its, its own metagame, because you have the, it's hide and seek. Hacking, uh, the attacker who's hacking the drones, who is where the defender is also hacking the drones, and so there's a, this like information I like it. where you're trying to get just the sliver of information. Maybe you know, they know exactly. that a drone has been taken, uh, and that gives you an advantage over everybody else. So yes. it's really interesting interaction that I cannot wait to see that in action. With I like it yeah, a so lot. Uh, both of them are going to bring some very interesting new things. We're going to try to see how shifting tools from attack to defense uh, impact the gameplay overall. And I'm very curious about the season. It's going to be an exciting season. Oh, and man. Mozzie, Gridlock, and Outback oh. are coming your way to the test server starting tomorrow oh. on February 18th. But what are we going to do? What I don't think this has leaked yet. <laughs> ah. Are you ready? What are we talking For about? The elite. Habana. Elite. Habana elite. Habana elite. Oh, she looks cool. Oh, man. She looks so freaking awesome. And the face, the face rework, the bow, I called the bow. I called the bow. Oh my God. She has a bow. She has a bow. I freaking, oh. I called the bow, ladies and gentlemen. I'm kind of hyped. With the launch of Operation Burnt Horizon. Oh. And you'll be able to play Operation Burn Horizon, everything that we talked about in this panel, and all the Year 4 Season 1 content oh my that God. we talked about in the Year 4 It's map real. Panel. I called it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you all oh. so much for sticking with us oh for my another God. year. This is an amazing, amazing community. Oh, my God. Thank you guys so much for everything. Do not go anywhere. Don't touch that browser, because we have G2 Esports versus...
Team Empire, coming up after this short musical performance. Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of whatever, whatever. Let's just get down to the brass tacks. Mozzie, Gridlock, those two new operators are going to play phenomenal. And I'm really big on Gridlock. I can see her holding down OBJ, or at least Bombsite, deploying those tracks, making it very hard for the defending team. Mozzie, however, little hacking on the drones. I love it. Oh, a little cat and mouse game, I, I want to call it. A little hide and seek, especially with Dokubi. Oh my goodness, and now we actually see the Habana Elite that I called, that I mentioned, and I don't think anyone has really mentioned that before, so I am gonna take that with pride, and oh my goodness, and then the, we have the year four roadmap that we just saw, we saw the Mexican operators, so that leak was actually true. What the hell, man, this is awesome. The, the friendly fire is pretty much almost dead. Uh, well, I guess with the first kill you can get away with, but OMG. Ubisoft, with Rainbow Six Siege, you do not disappoint. In fact, keep doing what you're doing. It's amazing, it's awesome. We're hyped, we're, we're excited. I'm actually more hyped than I was with Grim Sky, believe it or not. Even though we did have a, a shield operator on the defending team, I am OMG. Boys and girls, let's get ready and just, let's test servers. Let's happen. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Let's get the test servers and let's go play some Rainbow Six Siege. OMG! Ladies and gentlemen, this is some craziness right here. This is some craziness. Map reworks, character re redesigns. I don't even know what to think anymore. This is John from the Invasion Show saying peace, peace. Also, let me know what you... You like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, keep it to yourself. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. I'm at a loss for words. Obviously, the hype is definitely real and the hype is only continuing to grow. Now I can end the video. Peace, peace, chicken grease, ladies and gents.